Scorpio. I'm Susie from the Gift 202. I hope I find you well. And I'm going to tell you what's going to happen for the next seven days. Angels, spirit guides and universe. What would you like Scorpio to know about this week of the 6th of July? Scorpio, please. What would you like Scorpio to know? Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. What guidance can we give Scorpio for this week of the 6th of July for Scorpio? Angels, spirit guides, universe, give me the answers for Scorpio for this week, please. Choose the cards for Scorpio. Are they upside down? There's kind of that way. Oh, okay. Eight of Wands. There's travel here. A lot of communication. These dolphins are together. There's someone you're talking to across water, you're flying, this is air travel, this swift arrows of love, but there's someone with you, traveling with you, or you're talking to them as partner. And it's a crystal clear stretch, a very creative venture. If you're into creativity, that's what's happening. You might be selling things overseas. Um, but first of all, we've got the five of swords. Something came to an abrupt end because of the devil because of something toxic, there was a row with somebody because you were drunk or they were drunk or there was sexual manipulation, blah, blah, blah. But you've ended something with that devil manipulation to gain a victory and applause for something. It could be someone's ego was too big, I don't know, but there's a page of swords here who's gossiping. There's a message coming in about an ending of a completion, a cycle of... Um, that you've completed your, your, you've got the fleece, you've got the win, you've got the cup. It's like, yeah, been there, done that, got t-shirt, started to get a bit te like sexual or toxic or, um, and then it ended the second time worse so that you can, you burnt that bridge. Yes, you gained a victory, but someone was, uh, tells you about this completion and now you can start putting money into some other land or, or a business or something that's going to bear fruit. Um, could be to do with the child. And after everything comes out, sh 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 after everything comes out, this hopeful wish comes true, you might be a bit vulnerable. Things have come out of the closet. You might be feeling a bit weak. But there's something left here that, in the bottom of this box after the plague of Losicus came out that is worth having that you wanted yes there is and someone is too hurt by the past they're very hurt they don't know what to do they don't know how to make up their mind there's a confusion because of what's happened in the past someone could be very jealous or you were very jealous um this has caused an insecurity um or a angry person here could be someone that he was working is not working or an angry boss someone who wants money and security but because of this deception that's happened in the past um or that you don't know enough information it's causing a lack of stability and feeling in limbo someone's keeping something in limbo because they're not making a decision this week they're harping after the past, even though it's like a hopeful wish come true, but see, something's bearing fruit from the past. You've graduated, You're, you've got all the seeds, you've graduated, you've ended a cycle. You're planting seeds for a future cycle, whether it's a child or something else, and it's a hopeful wish come true. But there's something that's still hurtful from the past of this five of swords where someone said something or it was devilish behaviour, um, you don't trust someone enough. This is making someone very angry and unearthed, ungrounded. They might not have enough money. Um, something might cost you a lot of money. So, but the, so there's this limbo period because someone's not making a decision. They're not backing down from their pedestal. They've worked really hard to get where they were. You look like you're the death card. You're the, that's the Scorpio. So you're unearthed. It's like you're ungrounded. You're not in your element. Uh, there could be a fight, a battle of, of creativity. Um, and you're not backing down from your pedestal. People want to take you down. It's like, no, I'm not. There's a, there's a fight here, a creative fight. 
but you are going to meet a soulmate. There's an eye to eye meeting. So like we said, we had the eight of wands on the bottom of the deck. Creativity, lovers. There's still something of communication with lovers here. It's just... It's like a soulmate and it's new, but... not without it's not going to be without a fight it's not going to be without someone it seems that you're angry and in limbo because of someone went back down um or it could be vice versa but you might meet a new person by not backing down say i've worked too hard i'm just not doing it i'm not going to make a decision yet i'm not going to pay that money i'm not going to be in that relationship I'm up here on my pedestal. I work really hard to get here. It's like there's some kind of wish coming true, but you can't make up your mind. So it results in a delay. Someone's not making up their mind, so there's this, this delay, which may cause a fight or, or a barrier to go up. But then when this fight happens or this barrier goes up, it's almost like two people meet each other eye to eye. They can talk to each other. But there's you've come out of a toxic ending and it's a victorious getting out of it. And you've completed the cycle, even though someone could be jealous, spying you, said something about you. and um, But you've graduated. And something's bearing fruit from the past and it's a hopeful wish come true. It's just that someone can't let go of the past. The hurt from it. So it causes anger and unforgiveness and a limbo. Something's not quite finished. Something's not ended. And this puts a barrier up. Maybe you want to go for a new person or they want a new person. You need to end something. It's already... It's already... There's something ended here. So it's already been aroused. Something you can't go back on. Angel spirit guides. What would you like? Scorpio to know. What's that Scorpio to Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Angel spirit guides. What would you like Scorpio to know? Someone has an opinion about something. Someone's not making up their mind. They can't get over the past and the hurt or this toxic behaviour, this row. Angel spirit guides. What would you like? There might be a, a distance between you. New love, yeah. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Angels, spirit guides. What would you like? Scorpio. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. And deception. Someone is wearing a full self mask in this relationship. Scorpio, give me one more. It's safe for you to have open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. New love. Angel spirit guides. See, the two of cups is the two of cups. It's an equal give and take. It's a soulmate. It is a new love. It's safe for you to love. There might be deception. There might have been deception before. And now there's a reconciliation. Angel spirit guides you the words. What would you like? Scorpio to know. What would the angels like to tell Scorpio about the week of the 6th of July? Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Would you like to tell Scorpio about the 6th of July and the next seven days? What would you like to tell Scorpio? It's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I'm watching over you, guiding you and protecting you during these changes. What do you desire right now? Visualise it and it will come about. Negativity will block your progress. Caution is warranted. Look deeper into the situation before proceeding further. <gasps> okay, what's going on here? It's a good good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I'm watching over you, guiding you and protecting you during these changes. Visualise what you did to desire. She's painting the flowers to her wedding now. 
What do you desire right now? Visualize it and it will come about. Negativity will block your progress. Caution is wanted. Look deeper into the situation before proceeding further. Maybe it's a good thing you're not making up your mind in love. Maybe someone is a bit angry and they are in limbo and not and putting a barrier up and not choosing something and could be a bit violent even. We did get deception. Why are you reconciling with someone? There's still deception there. I think this is a new person. I think there's been deception. And I think you're trying to make up your mind. Someone's are trying to make up their mind. And it's causing a delay. This is avoiding responsibility. Not making up your mind because you, you're not looking forward. What you want to do is look at the two of cups that are still standing. This could be something still to work on here. But someone's in limbo. There's something... Maybe someone needs to let down the barrier so that you can move forward. Someone, But someone's just looking at the past and saying, this is going to happen again, I can't make enough, um, I don't have enough information. Someone said something to me um, that it was deception, I can't work this out. But you're, you've you finished a cycle in your life. and you're, this, It could be something to do with a child with a page of pentacles. There's, there's land here, there's seeds being planted in the past that bear fruit in the future. There's this hopeful wish come true that could be an Aquarius you're dealing with um, and you're angry about something if both parties could move forward and look at the future there is two cups still standing there's something to work on okay, this is, or, or, it's, or it's a brand new love it does say new love or it could be new love within an existing relationship I don't know there's some kind of victory over an ending here and you've completed the cycle. You've been there, done that, got the t-shirt. There's some things planted, could be money coming up with, the, with an Aquarius, but you're in two minds whether to make this go on. You're stuck, you're stuck in the limbo. Something can't end or indecision can't end because of this fight, this... this Let me ask the person most on Scorpio's mind, what would they like to say to them if they could tell them the truth? What would the true tarot like to say to Scorpio? Angel, spirit guide, the person most on Scorpio's mind. I know exactly what I was doing. I wish I could share my good news with you. We need to let each other go. You came closer than anyone. Poor Scorpio's person likes to tell them. I'm not taking all those. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. One more. What would this person like to tell Scorpio? One more card, please. What would this person like to tell Scorpio? Take the bottom one. I'm starting to understand our connection. So maybe there's something to rebuild here if you could make it a brand new beginning. Someone backs down. But someone's upset or you're upset you're not in your element because someone just won't forget this or they're jealous of something but it's over that something else is over um take care scorpio please like share and subscribe and i will speak to you soon bye bye